Vulcanot, Vulcanot Appliances, Willis Gilly of Minneapolis Honeywell, talking with inventor Frank Moe. Minnesota Lieutenant Governor Sandy Keith and Bob Starr, past president of MIC, are discussing this novel invention. This grain weigher was the grand prize winner in 1962. Mr. Stevemeyer, the inventor, displays a big smile because his idea is now in production. The number of inventions in the sporting field are increasing each year. Justice Berger of Bolus, Minnesota, demonstrates his idea. The rain hasn't dampened the enthusiasm of the hundreds of people who crowded into the ground. You know the difficulty of backing up a four-wheel trailer? This invention will enable anyone to back it up with comparative ease because the mechanism becomes rigid and it backs up more like a two-wheel trailer. A hydraulic hoist enables Eldon Marks of Amboy, Minnesota to lift up a load of hay so the bales may be pushed off on the level. This Rolite trailer, one which folds, was the first invention to win the grand prize at the Minnesota Inventors Congress. 33 of these trailers camped at the 1963 Congress. Meet Leo Hagenson, the inventor from Grantsburg, Wisconsin. While you let your coffee pot cool, you can fold up the trailer and be ready to hit the road. This gentleman is demonstrating the trailer for your benefit. During this operation, you probably noticed the bright orange caps with the little white cotton tail on top. This is the mark of the Rolliders Club. The sides are now being folded, ready for the top to be lowered so that you have a compact unit. The overall height of the trailer is low enough so that you can see out of your back window over the top of the trailer. The mechanism is electrically operated. This is the model of the Minnesota State Display for the World's Fair in New York. Big industrial firms such as Minneapolis Honeywell display at MIC. This display shows many inventions. The flashing light, for example, is a new light developed by a Northwest Airlines pilot with the help of Minneapolis Honeywell. The Northwestern Bell Telephone Company displayed a model of the Bell System Satellite Telstar, the first communication satellite in orbit. Displays such as these create great interest for the public and act as a stimulant to the inventor. These great companies develop from the idea of an inventor. Maybe a future industry is starting here at this year's Congress. The water sled, designed by Arthur Forsyth of Halstead, Minnesota, is getting the once over. It's a water sled which will not tip. An inventor who returns year after year to MIC is Paul Redfield of Madison, South Dakota. This year, Paul brought his action toy, which he calls an educational aid to youngsters. The toy is made of plastic. Here he demonstrates the action toy. Paul Redfield has had winning inventions for the past two years in a row. As an example, last year's household invention, Power Scour, is now manufactured and on the mark. Wonderlinks was grand prize winner in 1963. The inventor is Ray Shue of St. Paul, Minnesota. Invention of this toy was far from the original idea that this man started with, but as he worked to perfect the product he wanted, continued effort on his part would have been impractical. Not to waste his efforts, the byproducts became his invention. Wonderlinks can be made into almost any toy. Several different items are displayed here. Look at the faces of those youngsters. Just recently, this display was carefully inspected by a major automobile manufacturer in Detroit, according to John Swanberg, the owner. This beautiful compact unit is called the Turnpike Sleeper. 
These inventors from Heron Lake, Minnesota, have learned from past experience to bring with them material to build an impressive display. Often inventors bring more than one item. The latest item developed is a wire solder dispenser. It looks like a small pistol. By operating the trigger, solder is dispensed as needed for the job you're doing. Something for the little lady, M.H. Brosh of Lakeville, Minnesota. This is a new idea in grocery carts. Why lift your items from the cart at the checkout counter? Here's help in the laundry department. Lowell Hansen invented this for his wife. As you fold the clothes, sort them too. Minnesota is famous for its winter fishing, but people have a problem keeping the hole open. This invention is called Ice No Mo, has a charcoal burner, which will enable the fishermen to keep the hole open. William E. Bontaine of Clontarf, Minnesota, has a different idea at the control of rodents. Demonstrated here is a rodent bait dispenser. It goes down into the runway of the rodent and drops the bait. Many industries are located in Redwood Falls, the Calb Agricultural Association, which produces seed corn, and a vault company and other manufacturers as well. Here, Judy Lerstad, Miss Minnesota, picks out a tempting item from the case of Marigold Dairies, another industry. That looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? Miss Lerstead is sponsored by the Minnesota JCs, and she was on hand for the big award ceremonies. She is interested in one of the inventions, a little flag, which automatically tips down when the mailman puts the mail in the mailbox. This invention was brought to MIC by Mrs. Lewis Posh of Royalton, Minnesota, actually invented by her husband, and after he passed on, she brought her idea to the Minnesota Inventors Congress. In addition to spectators from all over, inventors came from 11 states and Canada. This is an invention by Dale Pagel of Watertown, South Dakota getting exceptional treatment by Miss Lerstead as she shows all onlookers how easy it is to change a truck tire. A grand prize trophy is given for the one invention selected most outstanding along with Topps awards voted by the public and a distant award. President Bob Felt introduces the awards program and encourages the inventors to return another year with another new idea. Judy Lerstead is introduced to the audience and talks briefly about her experiences. Bob Starr joins Miss Lerstead as they will present the awards. Bob tells the crowd that this is the climax of hundreds of hours of time donated by the directors and associate directors of five sponsoring organizations. How to wait expectantly for the first category winner to be announced. The third place winner receives a white ribbon and a cash prize. The first prize winner receives a blue ribbon, a cash prize, and a trophy. This lady has been announced as a winner of a red ribbon and a cash prize. All inventors receive a certificate showing they have displayed at the Minnesota Inventors Congress. And the press, the radio, and television were on hand to congratulate the winner. The suspense that's been building during the presentation of award is now broken. The grand prize winner has been announced, and this is Ray Shu of St. Paul, who invented the Wonderlinks toy. Sometimes awards are received that are not announced on the program. Ray Shu expressed his appreciation and a thank you to the Minnesota Inventors Congress from all the inventors for the hospitality and the courtesies extended to them. And the audience agrees that the Congress was a huge success. Miss Minnesota, now tired, leaves for home. And we look forward to seeing you at next year's Minnesota Inventors Congress in Redwood Falls, Minnesota.